Hello friends! In this tutorial, we will look at upscaling our images within the Flux Continuum workflow. Today, we'll be working with this image I prepared earlier. Let's copy it to Clip Space and paste it into the Image Load node. Now, let's change the output to Upscaler. Let's have a look at the Resolution Multiply slider. This slider will multiply the resolution of your input image. Note that it will multiply it after any resize operations from the Resize node. In our case, the Resize node has no effect. Let's set the resolution multiply to 1.5. Next, we will switch over to the Upscale Model tab. Here, we can choose our Upscale model. You can download models from this website. Link in the description. There are many options depending on your use case. The one I recommend for general use is Nomos 8KDAT. It's quite popular in the community and does a good job for most things. Another popular one is Ultra Sharp. Let's run the workflow to upscale the image. It's usually a quick process, especially if you have the model loaded already. You can see it's quite faithful to the original image. Since it was upscaled by just 1.5 times, the difference isn't significant. You can definitely bump it up to 4 or even 8 if you like. Let's try 4. The difference will be more significant. You can see it's quite a lot sharper. And the resolution is 4K, so quite big. OK, let's lower this back down to 1.5 for the tutorial. So that's the basic upscale covered. Now, the next upscaler, the ultimate upscaler, is going to be more resource intensive and take longer to run but the results can be great. Let's have a look at how it works in the back end. Our input image comes in here. Then it's being upscaled using the model that was chosen. That is sent out as the upscaler output, which is the upscale method we just looked at. However, if we choose the ultimate upscaler as an output, it will run it through that initial upscale method and keep going to the ultimate Upscaler, which splits our image into tiles with a resolution of 1024 by 1024. These tiles then each run through an image to image operation. That's why when we're using the ultimate upscaler, denoise is an important value, but it's not being utilized for the basic upscaler. So for the ultimate upscaler, you're going to need to consider the denoise, Resolution Multiply, and Upscale Model. OK, let's set it all up. We've set the output to Ultimate Upscaler. We've got our model chosen here. And we've chosen our resolution. Let's run the workflow while I explain the best denoise values for the Ultimate Upscaler. The best values are between 0 0.1 and 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is going to start looking significantly different from your original image. The higher the value, the more creative it gets. If you wanted to be more faithful to your original image, you would want to lower the denoise to like 0.2 or even 0.1. Feel free to experiment with that. Here you can see that our image has been split into four tiles and each of them is running through an image-to-image -image process using the denoise value we set earlier. Once all four tiles have been processed, they are stitched together to create the final image. The more you multiply your original image resolution, the more tiles you will need. OK, our generation is done you can see that there is quite a big difference from the original image. That's because we have the denoise set quite high. 
If you wanted to be more faithful to the original, just lower the value. But you can see some of the small issues are fixed. Also note that we only multiplied the resolution by 1.5. If you want to get higher resolution and more detail, you want to bump that up. That's it for this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions and what tutorial you want to see next. Happy generating.